Today I'm going to show you how to drive a cat bulldozer. This is a D7R2 XR, but it should be the same for most of their dozers. So if you look at the cab here, you got your uh, three main levers here. You got the drive, blade control, ripper control. So I'm just going to give you kind of a walkthrough on how to run this dozer. It's a bit of a frosty morning here. It's about minus one celsius it's about 6 a.m we're gonna get started here and uh so i'll just let the dozer run up you have to wait till it makes that annoying sound before you can start it and uh while we let it warm up i'll just run a little tutorial on how to drive this thing so let's start off with the pedals down here you got your brake pedal this is uh a hydraulic track lock basically so it'll jerk you pretty good when you if you step on it too suddenly uh, next to it you got the throttle pedal pedal the decelerator so uh, if you push in the pedal it's at idle the further you let it out the further it speeds up the engine till you take your foot off and it's wide open throttle on your left hand here you got your park brake that's off that's on when it's on you can't steer or do anything you're locked out this is your steering lever and uh, once it warms up i'll show you a bit how that works and uh, this is also your drive forward neutral reverse you have a three speed uh, torque converter on this machine so you got this is gear up this is gear down over here on your dash you got your climate controls and uh, air conditioning you got your engine temperature uh, gear case temperature transmission or uh, sorry hydraulic fluid temperature and fuel level and over here you can switch your torque converter to first forward to second reverse second forward second reverse and second forward one reverse uh, that's just how it'll come up when you put it in gear from the lever instead of now it always automatically uh, starting in first gear uh, this is also automatic mode which honestly I've never used but over here on your right hand, you have your blade control. Pull back on the stick, lifts your blade. Forward on the stick, drops your blade. If you push to the right, it'll tilt your blade to the right. Pull to the left, it'll tilt your blade back to the left. Pretty straightforward to run. Over here, this is your ripper control, like I said. We got a multi-shank ripper on here right now. Uh, to lift up your ripper, just pull that lever in and you can see the rippers coming up. Push it the opposite way, push it out, and ripper goes down. Uh, tilting forward brings your uh, ripper tips forward, pushing it back, tilts it backwards. Over here you got your throttle. So right now we're in the neutral position, you can do whatever you want with the pedal, it stays at idle. If you want to accelerate, push your foot down on the pedal, hit throttle up. That puts you into high idle. The further you let off the throttle, the higher it revs up. Bump that back down to idle for now. Here's your hydraulic lock, unlock. Usually don't touch that, just let it be. Up on the roof there, you got your wipers for the front doors and back. Now on a cold morning like this, like I said, it's a little below freezing. So uh, it's been running for a couple minutes now. We're gonna bump it up to high idle. So foot down on this pedal. You hit high throttle, and then you just bring the pedal up, up to wherever RPM you want it to sit. I want it to sit about that 950 mark, so I'm gonna hold the pedal there. All you do is you hold this button in for about five seconds. Let off, you can let off your pedal, and now it stays in high idle. You can set it at any RPM you want it to, and that's where it will stay till you bump this button either up or down. So, I got, uh, like the boss just said, I got some blading out to do over there. So I'm gonna walk you through how to drive this thing now. So, bump the throttle up to high. Make sure your blade's off the ground, your ripper's off the ground. And we'll pop this into forward. You can see we're driving now. Now we wanna turn, push forward, turns you left. Pull back, turns you right. 
drops it way backing up, which will throw you off a little bit at first. Uh, as you can see, I have my foot off the pedal now, so we're running full throttle. And uh, I had this machine running for a couple minutes before the video, so it's not completely cold. Uh, now we're just running across the yard here in the gravel pit, so we're just gonna bump it up one gear. Again, there's no clutch to shift. This is all uh, torque converter. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. You just decelerate to, and then you can pop her into reverse, pop her into neutral, whatever you want to do. Okay, I'm going to walk over to the pile and then I'll come back to you.